Hi everyone. Today I'm going to explore a study done by Fruri and colleagues in 2016 on the effects of placebo in cognitive training procedures. The, um, they investigated if the outcomes of cognitive training exercises differ when placebo effects occur. Fruri and colleagues um, discussed the role of placebo effects in cognitive Tra uh, cognitive training and raise concerns about the methodology of previous studies. While previous research has shown that general cognitive ability is heritable and stable in young adults, there are recent evidence suggesting that fluid intelligence can be improved through cognitive training, which are mainly on working memory training. However, some researchers have questioned the methodology of these studies particularly the role of placebo effects. Therefore, the, author, uh, the authors um, designed a study to intentionally induce a placebo effect through overt recruitment and evaluated the role of placebo effects in fluid intelligence gained from cognitive training. Um, the question um, of this study was to whether placebo effects and positive expectancy can influence the outcomes of brain training exercises. And they hypothesized that over, uh, overt and suggestive recruitment would be sufficient to induce positive post-training outcomes. Mm, to evaluate the role of placebo effects in cognitive training, the researchers designed a study where individuals self-selected into either a placebo group or a control group. And they um, sent out two flyers at different times. So the first flyer was uh, uh, an uh, overt so, uh, suggestive flyer, which is uh, suggestive of uh, its uh, brain training for cognitive enhancement and study shows um, uh, it increases fluid intelligence, so the participants are self-selecting themselves into this placebo group, and um, they produce some positive expectancy to, towards um, participating in this uh, training group. And individuals who self-selected into the placebo group while responding to this suggestive flyer showed significant improvements in fluid intelligence after just one hour of cognitive training. These improvements were equivalent to a five to 10 point increase on a standard IQ test. In contrast, um, in a different time, um, the, the researchers, they uh, sent out this um, covert uh, non-explanatory um, flyer and the, uh, the participants would not be uh, having any expectancy of um, brain training, enhancement stuff by just looking at this flyer. So they would be uh, neutral to the uh, study, just gaining some credits as a reimbursement, that's it. So in contrast, individuals in the control group, uh, this group, who responded to this non suggestive non-suggestive flyer showed no improvements. These findings suggest that placebo effects may have played a role in the positive outcomes observed in cognitive training studies and the brain training industry. This shows that expectations and placebo effect can um, affect the outcomes of the training. And um, Furugi and colleagues provide evidence of placebo effects in cognitive training and emphasize the need to consider these effects in future research. They highlight the limitations of previous studies and call for more rigorous designs to accurately measure the effects of cognitive training on intelligence. The findings have implications for both um, cognitive training research and the brain training industry suggesting that claims of training effectiveness should be tempered until the, rule, the role of placebo effects is better understood. The findings also have implications for the brain training industry as exaggerated claims about the effectiveness of cognitive training may be fueled by pl placebo effects. 
So this study provides strong evidence that placebo effects from overt and suggestive recruitment can affect cognitive training outcomes. And finally, Frugi and colleague discussed the relationship between working memory and intelligence and the need to consider confound in future research. They emphasize the importance of ruling out alternative explanations before attributing treatment effects to in interventions. Uh, they recommend accounting for placebo effects in future studies and suggest different approaches to recruitment and study designs. They also highlight the need for more rigorous designs, such as uh, double-blind randomized control trials to better understand the true effects of cognitive training. They suggest that future cognitive training studies should report recruitment information and include measures of participant expectations. They conclude uh, to use two different approaches to designing cognit uh, cognitive training studies, one that uses covert methods to minimize placebo effects, and one that overtly recruits participants who have positive expectations about the training. And here's the reference for the article. Thanks for listening.